हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मयूर उबाले आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट डब्ल्यू आई सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बीओडी दैट इज बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड दिस टॉपिक विल बी हैविंग टू पार्ट्स सो दिस इज पार्ट वन वेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थेरोटिकल बी ओडी दैट इज थेरी ऑफ बी पार्ट टू विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एनालिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ बी ओडी एंड हाउ द फॉर्मूले आर गोइंग टू गेट डिराइव सो वॉट आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स students will be able to elaborate uh, the concept of bod that is biochemical oxygen demand in wastewater so before going to the bod we need to analyze why we are talking about the bod or what is the necessity of uh, thinking about bod let us talk about the organic matter which are present in the wastewater when the organic matter concentration is present in a larger sense in the wastewater at that time we will think about a biological process in the secondary treatment of wastewater treatment plant so we have to think about which type of organic matter we have to choose or we have to take action on so generally the organic matter is divided into two one is biodegradable organic matter which is biological active and another one is non biodegradable organic matter which is biologically inactive normally biodegradable material is always present nearly 80 to 90% so we generally think about biodegradable uh, material or biodegradable organic matter when we are thinking about uh, treating that wastewater or to kill them or oxidize them generally organic matter is often assessed in terms of oxygen which is required to complete the oxidation process or oxidize the organic matter and convert them to carbon dioxide oxygen and other end products of oxidation it may be nitrates or nitrites so what is bod as we are thinking about the killing or oxidizing or eating the organic matter there will be some uh, organism who is going to eat them the, we are talking about microorganisms so in the aerobic conditions microorganisms need two things one is food food means organic matter for them and for their survival they need oxygen so the amount of oxygen here the amount of oxygen which is required by microorganisms fine mostly they are bacteria to carry out this decomposition of organic matter or biodegradable organic matter is called as bod that is biochemical oxygen demand so it is a requirement by microorganisms so there is a difference between do and bod do means amount of oxygen which is present in the water but bod means it is a amount of oxygen which is required by microorganisms fine so there is a difference between them now going into the details of bod we have to think about which type of uh, microorganisms are going to eat which type of organic matter and subsequently how much oxygen they are going to require to understand that we need to further divide the organic matter also so generally biodegradable organic matter is divided into two forms one is carbonaceous organic matter or carbonaceous matter and uh, nitrogenous matter fine you have to understand among these two carbonaceous matter is always easier to eat so when we are introducing microorganisms into the treatment plant they are constantly hungry so they will always go towards those kind of a food which is easily biodegradable so among these two carbonaceous matter is the one which is easier to eat fine and nitrogenous matter is relatively harder to eat in simple words so the total amount of oxygen which is required to eat up or to biodegrade or to oxidize only carbonaceous matter present in the wastewater is called as ultimate carbonaceous bod or in simple words we use ultimate bod it is represented as l0 so technically how we can define it it the ultimate carbonaceous bod of a liquid waste is the amount of oxygen necessary for microorganisms in the sample to decompose the carbonaceous materials uh, that are subject to microbial decomposition so amount of oxygen which is required by microorganisms 
to it only carbonaceous only carbonaceous organic matter that's it now though they are uh, eating first the carbonaceous matter but we have to think what is the overall oxygen required by microorganisms now let us talk about this graph first in the x axis you can see the time is written it means that when we are introducing the microorganisms into the tank that will be the start point or that will be the start date right so we will be uh, considering it as a zero time as they have been introduced in the tank they will start to eat that micro organic matter they will start to eat that organic matter and afterwards they will slowly slowly grow into a, a bioculture large amount of or large concentration of microorganisms fine so in that process what will happen as they are going first to the carbonaceous matter so whatever the demand which is required by microorganisms to eat carbonaceous matter is called as carbonaceous demand it is also called as first stage demand fine as they are growing themselves by eating carbonaceous matter the time will come where 99.99 percent of the carbonaceous matter will fully eaten up at that time whatever the oxygen which is provided to microorganisms will be nearly equal to the ultimate bod that is the total amount of oxygen which is required by microorganisms to eat carbonaceous matter at that time what we can say y u is equal to l naught now what is mean by your bod exerted bod exerted is the amount of oxygen which is taken up by microorganisms to eat the organic matter see there is a difference between taking up of oxygen by microorganisms and requirement of oxygen by microorganisms so let us suppose a person is hungry and he is or she is uh, having a demand of 10 uh, 10 rotis to fulfill his uh, demand to fulfill his a uh, hunger so what will happen at a start he or she will require 10 rotis so that is the ultimate bod for for carbonaceous matter i'm talking about carbonaceous matter now after 10 minutes he or she will eat 4 rotis actually the bod demand was 10 rotis but after 10 minutes if the demand reduces down to 6 6 rotis so now the bod demand is 6 rotis then how much is the bod exerted 10 minus 6 so 4 4 rotis are the amount of rotis which have been provided or which is taken up by that person so taking up of oxygen is bod exerted and requirement is the your bod demand so there is a difference so when i am drawing this graph i am always taking bod exerted it means how much oxygen is the microorganisms using how much oxygen the microorganisms are taking to kill or to uh, what we can say biodegrade that organic matter after few days we can say fully carbonaceous matter is uh, eaten up or biodegrade biodegraded by the uh, microorganisms afterwards what they will do they will move towards nitrogenous matter so they will start to eat the uh, nitrogenous matter amount of oxygen required by microorganisms to eat nitrogenous matter is called as nitrification demand it is also called as second demand fine now addition of first stage demand and second stage demand is called as total demand so there are four types of demands now one is uh, ultimate bod another one is bod demand third one is bod exerted and last one is total demand i will again repeat it bod demand is the total amount of oxygen required at the start at the start when we are introducing microorganisms bod exerted at a particular time is the bod which is amount of oxygen taken up by microorganisms ultimate bod is the bod where the amount of oxygen required by microorganisms to biodegrade only carbonaceous matter and total bod is the oxygen which is required by microorganisms to eat total organic matter that is inclusion of carbonaceous matter also and nitrifuous matter also 
fine so there are four types of demand so moving ahead when we are coming to the lab we always know that when we are introducing the microorganisms to the treatment plant microorganisms will take infinite time to kill the micro uh, organic matter so we don't have that much amount of time so what we do we take a kind of a logical process where we put a sample in a incubator and set at standard temperature of 20 degrees celsius and put it for 5 days fine why it is so because as per the analysis what we are saying after 5 days after 5 days the oxidation or biodegradation which is happening in the uh, in that uh, beaker or uh, in that incubator where the organic matter is biodegraded by 60 to 70 percent it means that microorganisms are eating the organic matter up to 60 to 70 percent and after 20 days microorganisms will be eating the organic matter up to 95 to 99 percent but we require some optimum time so that we can give faster and precise results that's why we put a standard temperature that is 20 degrees celsius and standard time that is 5 days that's why in the lab we generally consider 5 days bod it is also called as bod5 now this bod5 is a exerted bod it is not a bod demand so let us have few review questions whether this statement is true or false then ultimate bod indicates the total oxidation of carbonaceous matter nitrogenous matter both a and b none of the above let us see their answers generally a 5 day period is chosen for standard bod test during which oxidation is about 60 to 70% complete this is the true statement ultimate bod always indicates the total oxidation of carbonaceous matter these are the references i have used to make this ppt thank you